to the screen so you don't get the uh, minimap anymore so we have that well you know you can uh, test it out and see get you know to test it out see if it's working or not you can adjust you know the sizes so I'm gonna clear create a uh, sample plane and attach the minimap uh, well yeah the size just resetting. So I think this looks fine. This is uh, what's going to be drawn on the screen. Not yet. You know. So we need a uh, you know it's already created for us the material. So what I'm going to do is assign the custom shader that I created. And it's not doing anything unless you uh, attach a mass text. What I did was I uh, went to Photoshop and I created this uh, picture. This picture is a black background with a white circle. I had it at 128 by 128. It's the pixel size. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. So just go ahead and create a uh, texture like that. I'm going to save it to the uh, folder. I have minimap folder in the project. Save it as a target file. The mask. Okay. And they have the masking texture. You have to do a little bit of uh, cleaning up. So once you get the texture from that, click that, go to advanced, check off generate minimap, and I need to check alpha from grayscale. So it will uh, generate alpha. So I'm going to go to the minimap texture and I'm going to select this mask texture and I'm going to put it. Voila! We have a circular texture right here. Well, it's really, really fun, right? <laughs> of course, uh, it's not going to do anything right now until you draw it to the screen. Ah, uh, well, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm playing this. Anyways, uh, there you go. Now, what we're going to do is draw this texture with the uh, the material on the screen using GUI, not GUI graphics. So I'm going to create an empty game object. I'm just going to call it GUI manager Oops. M -A -H. we manager I'm gonna create a script I already created it I've created the skeleton for you guys so it will save me some time I'm gonna create two variables public render texture minimap texture public material That's good. Drag it. Put it in GUI Manager. And I'm going to assign these two stuff. Material goes to material. Texture goes to texture. That's pretty much it. Okay. Now what we're going to do is go to here. Say graphics dot draw texture. Well, this method you cannot use GUI dot draw method because uh, we have to attach the material to it. The only way you can do it is using graphics dot draw texture. So I'm gonna provide a basic uh, uh, screen dot with with minus oops minus 256. The size of it is 256. I'm gonna make it 256. So screen dot. I'm just hard coding the numbers, but you know you can have it as a uh, constant or variable predefined in the await function so it saves you some memory 256 well I'm also going to have uh, an offset well what the hell private uh, float offset offset so I'm gonna get that paste in that offset Actually, it has to be, yeah, minus, and it has to be uh, plus, plus, 256, and 256. Oh, camera, and the texture is render, oh, minimap texture, minimap texture, material, minimap material. And one thing about using this function, you have to call it 
if you're calling it from GUI, you have to always call it from uh, mm, from the uh, the repaint. Okay, so event type event type type current type, Oops, type repaint. You can only call it during the repaint method. So there you go. Oops. Okay. So let's see if it's working or not. Uh, it is not working. So, what's wrong? Let's, uh, Yay! That's working. So I think it was something to do with the, uh, the offset. Okay, screen dot width minus 256 minus offset ah that's right this is totally my fault don't use screen dot height I always forget that no damn it what the hell is going on oh yeah that's uh I have no idea why I did that. And uh, there you go. You have a mini map on the corner. Congratulations, you have a mini map. All to make the character appear on the mini map, all you have to do is have a, uh, a texture, a character texture. Just go to Photoshop and draw it, just like a, uh, a circle or something, and draw it in the center of the mini map, and you'll have a character in that running around. And that's about it. Thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please write any uh, comments and you know any feedback on that. Thank you very much.